What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 16 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be looking at how to make our own custom moves. I'm going to tell you how to define them, and then I'm also going to briefly touch upon some of the scripts um, in the move functions, as well as briefly touch upon making your own move animations. So, with that said, let's get into it. What you want to do is go into your game folder, go to your PBS, and open moves.txt. This will be where we define and add our own moves. What I would recommend you do is look a little bit at some of the moves that have already been defined and see some of the formatting, and then scroll down all the way to the bottom, make a new line, and then let's start our own. Let's start making our own move. So the most recent move that was made was 559, so we're gonna make 560. Now we'll come up with a name for it. So the move that I have in mind is a dark type move that hits two to five times. Um, it'll be basically like Bullet Seed, but for Dark type. And I'll call it, uh, Dark Jabs. So, the first number is 560, which is the move ID. The second value is, in all caps, the internal name. So, Dark Jabs. And then, the third value is what you see in-game. So, Dark, space, Jabs, with, like, proper formatting. So, this fourth value here, this fourth value here, is 01D for withdraw, it's 09E for water sport. This fourth value is the move's function code. Every move needs a function code, and the function code defines what the move does. Uh, most of the function codes that you're gonna want for your moves have already been defined. So you, if you go to the Pokemon Essentials Wiki, you'll see they have the layout of all the function codes um, so 0, 0, 0 is if the move has no internal effect, I mean no extra effect, so like cut, aqua tail, you know, straight, straightforward damage moves. 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1 is nothing happens at all, 0, 0, 2 is this move has no type, struggle. So essentially what you want to do is just control F the move that you want to imitate for your own move. If you want to define your own move that hasn't been created before, then that'll be a lot more complicated. But for, for the basics of making your own move, let's make a move that's really similar to Bullet Seed. So Bullet Seed hits two to five times in a row. And uh, here's the extra details, like two or three hits, one third chance, four or five hits, one six chance, cool. So Bullet Seed uses the function code 0C0. So let's go back to our moves and 0C0 for the function code. So if you wanna ever define your own function code, you can go into your scripts, boop, and go to pokebattle underscore move effects and just take a look at like scroll down through all of this see see what's been done so like here's pokebattle move zero 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 so this is the the straightforward zero 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 function code and just like look at all of the scripting work that has to go into some of these if you ever want to make your own moves that have its own crazy unique effects you're gonna have to do some scripting i would recommend for basics just don't worry about it just use the ones that have already been defined. So, now that we've got our function code in, we need the next value. The next value is its base power. So, Dark Jabs, since it hits two to five times, let's make its base power like 15, it could be 20. That'd, that'd be pretty good, pretty strong. But let's just do 15, comma, and then the next value, as you can probably see up above, that says water, uh, this is the type. And you have to put it in all caps, because it has to be the internal name of the type, so Dark comma and then the next value is physical special or status this defines whether you know it's a physical hitting move a special hitting move or a status effect move um, that does no damage um, so let's make dark jabs physical if I could spell I was about to type fiscial eh. okay then the next value is its accuracy I like 100 accuracy moves so I'm gonna make it 100% accurate um, there are some there are some moves that don't require you to put any accuracy. So, for example, withdraw. Withdraw has zero base power and zero accuracy because it's only affecting the the user. So you don't really got to worry about accuracy for status effect moves. Um, let's see. So the next value is the total PP. Um, let's make it so there's 20. So that's if you know if you don't know PP, which you should because you're making a freaking Pokemon game. PP is how many uses it has before it runs out and you can't use it anymore, or you have to go to a Pokemon Center. So the next value is the additional effects chance. So I'm going to set it to zero, but let me explain. 
Additional effect chance means the percentage that the um, function code, like if for example, like a move that paralyzes you, Thunder Wave has 100% chance. Um, you know, something like Body Slam might have like 20% chance. It has a percent chance to do the effect. Ice Beam has like what, 10% chance to freeze the target? I don't know these values. You can set these values. Like, like actually let me control F Ice Beam and find out what its effect chance is. 10%. Yeah, it looks like it's 10% chance to freeze the target. Aha, you got it. Okay, the next value is the target of the move. Um, and this is determined by um, weird numbers that you have to add. I'm gonna link a Pokemon Essentials page that explains these, but um, the values have to be like 0, 0 or 1, 0. So 1, 0 if it affects the, uh, the user of the move, 0, 0 if it's just effect affecting one enemy, um, like 4, 0 if it affects everyone, like Earthquake. But for our move, since it's a really basic move and it's only affecting one enemy, we'll make it 0, 0. Comma, cool. The next value is its priority. Um, for most moves, you don't want to give them priority. Um, just make it zero, so that way it's affected by speed stat alone. Um, and this value could be like zero, one, negative one, and I think it goes from negative six to six. Um, but for example, quick attack just has a priority of one. I think extreme speed has a priority of two. For our move, we'll give it a priority of zero. We don't want it to be... Well, we could make it a priority move, so Dark Jabs always goes first. That could be interesting, actually. Let's make it a priority move. Um, the next value is a collection of numbers called flags. And um, uh, once again, this is all explained in the Pokemon Essentials wiki page, so definitely go into the description because these are going to get a little bit confusing. Um, so A is if the move makes physical contact with somebody. B is if it can be blocked with defend, um, with protect or detect. C is... I can't remember exactly. I know that C, E, and F are really important ones to use. No, B, E, and F. Um, F is if the move... It makes it so that way the move has a 10% chance of making the opponent flinch if the user hold, is holding King's Rock. So basically you want to use that on all moves. E makes it so that way the move can be copied by mirror move. Yeah, so it's going to be super complicated. It's actually very simple. You just put a whole bunch of numbers in here, a bunch of, I mean, sorry, not numbers, a whole bunch of letters in here, and those letters will be defined in the Pokemon Essentials wiki page, so go check that out, please. And then the, la the last and final value is the description of the move. So, you know, you put your quotes, and then you say, the user jabs an opponent's weak spot two to five times I'm saying that to make it sound like it's a dark move kind of sneaky you know dark jabs and um, this move allows the user to go first I don't know basically uh, uh, let them know that it's a priority move and let them know that it's a two to five times cool so now that that's done our move is basically complete now let's load into our game and then let's give our Pokemon dark jabs and let's see it in action and one thing that's really cool is you'd be thinking oh but I haven't I haven't told it what animation to use what's I'm gonna attack and nothing's gonna happen that's wrong actually there are default um, animations that are built into elite battle system as well as just Pokemon essentials in general so even if you're not using elite battle system your move will have a default animation so let's go to our Pokemon and give him dark jabs. Look, Pikachu, debug, moves, teach move. Let's go down. Page up and page down allows me to go through this really fast. Dark jabs. He wants to learn it. He already knows four moves. Okay, I'll get rid of Tail Whip. I don't like Tail Whip. I never liked Tail Whip. And ta-da, he learned it. Cool. So let's save. Just because I love saving. And now let's get into a battle and show it off. My Pikachu might be too strong. He might kill all these wild Pokemon in one hit. Look how cool it looks with Elite Battle System. <laughs> Man. So, Dark Jabs will hit two to five times. Let me see, it says Dark, Physical. It should hit two to five times. Look, it's, it has the animation built in. Nice. 
It hit two times. That was all it took. Cool. So it's using the default animation built into Elite Battle System. If you don't have Elite Battle System, there will still be a default animation, just a basic hit. And the default animation does change depending on your type. So if we made Dark Jabs an electric type move, it would actually have an electric animation. So let's make it electric. And I think let's crank up the power also, because um, the animation is also dependent on the power. So if you have a really high power fire type move, it will use a big fire blast, whereas a low power fire type move will have like a smaller fire hit. So we've made Dark Jabs a stronger move, so it should have a cooler, stronger animation. And once again, this is for the basics. If you want to go and make a crazy move that has its own custom animation, you're going to have to go into the animation editor, which I'll show you in just a little bit. I'm a complete noob at the animation editor. But let's see, Dark Jabs is now an electric type that is stronger, and it will have an electric animation. Boom! Shazam! Cool. So for the basics, this gets the job done. You don't have to worry about defining your own move functions. You don't have to worry about making your own animations. For the most part, you can get everything done here in the PBS and just editing text. So if you want, if you do want to, however, go way more in depth, there is editor.exe. Open that up. Let's see, where is it? Animation editor. Cool. You can make your own animations here. I'm just showing you this. I'm a complete noob when it comes to using the animation editor. I promise you that. I'm not the best person to listen to at all. <laughs> but yeah, you can make your own animations in this. I'm going to link another Pokemon Essentials wiki page about the animation editor. So check the description if you want to go into more details. Um, yeah, you can like check it out. Play the animation. You know, like it's just a couple frames. So it's a 10 frames. Yeah, so for the most moves, you can just keep them really short, like a 10-frame animation. Yeah, definitely try that out if you want to make your own animations. You don't need to, but if you want to. And uh, with that said, this episode is complete. Let me know if uh, you have any other topics you want covered. I know that there are still plenty more for me to cover. And uh, hopefully this video helped you out. It's super easy to make your own moves. If you have Elite Battle System and you don't worry about making your own crazy freaking moves, it's pretty easy. And with that said, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And uh, let's show off this move one more time. Our electric dark jabs now. Boom, it looks snazzy. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.